Hi, this is a quick demonstration of how you can get started with Animator and specifically how you're going to get the setup done. You only have to do this once and it should stay in place for you, but with a new installation some of these things slip out of whack and it's a good idea just to double check them. If you haven't already done so, you can acquire the Animator program and put it on the D drive of your computer if you're at the school um, and it can be found through these links at the start of the setup screen. The first setup that we're going to play around with is the Configure GUI. Now I'm going to start the program and you'll see when I start it it always gives you a little check and shows you which version you're using. 0.97D is the most current version and I'm thinking it's the best one that you could possibly use so I'm going to set it up. By the way as you work through the tutorial not a bad idea to have the instructions on one side and the program on the other so that you can compare back and forth really quickly too. Now what I'm doing here is configuring the GUI that's under File so I'll go File and Configure GUI first and basically with this the quick answer is toggle everything except for these three points and that'll make life fairly simple and make it match the tutorial screens. You know, once you get used to this you can try some other variations but this is just a good way to get started. Next, options. There's only three other things we have to do here and the first is options and we're going to turn on the tooltips or make sure that it's turned on. So under options just make sure tooltips is turned on. Don't tick, click it now or it'll turn it off. So I'll just click up top to turn it off right now. Options are really useful. I'll show you how they work right now. You have a very complex interface with all these little icons and buttons, but to give you a hint as to what they do and to show you shortcuts, watch this space at the bottom with tooltips on. And when you hover over things, it'll show you not only what it does, but what key is the hotkey for it. So Add Sphere is a capital letter S. And that way you don't even have to click on it. Up at the top here, or up a little further, scale is a small s. So just a little s gives you scale. And you can toggle between them without having to move the mouse. Learn these tips and you'll work way faster, particularly when it comes down to sphere or things like the move function, which is a little m. Next thing we have to set up, we'll go to View Preferences. And there's one that tends to be fairly handy here. Under View, Preferences, the top ones are just matters of choice and how things look. I leave things set up so I'm going to show fog and smooth and all that stuff and anti-aliased I like. But more importantly is when you get into animation, make sure you limit the playback. We'll use 24 frames per second. And the last thing to set up here is um, just making sure that you know what mode you're in and that the mode settings are correct. So the mode settings here, these are the modes here. You have two main modes, object edit and point edit mode. There are other things that you can play around with but these tend to be the most useful. And under, we'll start with object edit, that's where the tutorial starts. Make sure all, all of X, Y, and Z are toggled on. That means you can change the values of X, Y, and Z points and coordinates. And make sure that this is the screen coordinates function that's turned on. We don't want to use object coordinates or world coordinates, we want to use screen coordinates and then things will match the tutorial. So that's it. You're on your way. We'll see you in the next exercise and we'll start modeling. Good luck.